What's up guys, I'm Nate and today I will be showing you how to create an authentic watercolor look in Photoshop. The process is actually quite simple. All they really need to do is download a set of brushes which is down in the link below and change the settings for your canvas. First you want to start off making a new group in the layers panel down the right corner. Once you have the group go over to the left and select the layer mask. You'll have a white square pop up right next to your group. Once you have made the mask, go over to the left corner, go to edit and select fill. Once that is clicked, you want to go to contents and click it and select pattern. Click custom patterns and then go to the cog wheel. You will be going down towards artist surfaces. click OK and then towards the bottom row you'll see a pattern that says gosh light on watercolor you'll select that one once it's been selected you'll see it in the square you just click OK to get out of this once it's been selected you'll see in the mask over here it, it turned to a slight gray it's actually changing to the pattern that we just selected now you want to make a new layer in the group once you have made the new layer, you want to go to the layer styles and select multiply. Once then, you're going to go to your brushes and also you'll be changing the mode to multiply so we can get that watercolor effect that we want to get. I'm using the number 8 brush right now. Uh, pick whatever color you like, doesn't really matter at first. I'm going to stick with blue. And now you'll see that smooth transition of how you can kind of see like the water color not totally absorbing into the paper. Now, if you keep going over it, the color will become darker and darker uh, each time you apply the paint onto it. So get a feel of how like the paint works, how you want it to flow and everything like that, how even if you paint on different levels, it'll still affect one another. But to really get that watercolor effect, you want to go to the left and select your smudge tool select finger painting and the strength I'll stick with stick with 50 right now uh, just the brush size and then you can just kind of like brush into it kind of like you're painting it similarly and the different tones of the color will blend more well into each other kind of giving that uh, water effect that you keep painting over it numerous times and whatnot uh, this technique takes a little bit of practice you don't always get at the first shot the more obviously the more the more you use it, you'll get better at it, how you want uh, the different tones to be in your work, how you want like the darks to be more on the inner of your artwork or on the outside of it. It just takes a lot of practice once you get the hang of it. And that is that is how you create an authentic watercolor look in Photoshop. If you guys have any more uh, ideas of what videos I should do, uh, leave any comments down below, and that will be all for today. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.